All right, boys and girls, we are gonna do a cast testing video with my first JDM reel ever, the Daiwa Alpha Air. And what I'm doing right now, I am actually spooling my lineup. And during my unboxing video, I was telling you guys about this groove right here in the center of the reel. And this is my first time spooling this thing up and uh, you know just trying it out. So I just wanna show you guys. I got the four pound test mono, and this knot basically gets pushed down in here and uh, it should prevent your line from catching that when you cast. So it's not gonna uh, impact your casting distance. But anyway, let's pull this thing up. I got four pound casting floral coat, which is a cold polymer line. And let's go catch some fish. Well, actually just cast testing. So we'll be casting some light lures today. I filled about 75% of the way up because you know this is a small spool. I just want to make sure I have enough line. But this is a light spool anyway, so having a little bit more line is not that bad. I really want that diameter wider, right, so that you can cast a better distance. So let's see how this goes. If it's bad, then I'll strip some line. I'd rather put more, and I'll strip some line later if I need to. But in fact, I'm, I'm, this is max. We'll call this max because it looks like like a micro millimeter to the edge. But let's do it. By the way, guys, my rod setup today is the Casking Zephyr, and it's ultra light. It's rated for one to eight grams, two to 10 pound test line, and this thing is 1.68 meters long. All right, the first lure we'll cast today is the ice fishing jig. This is the new Euro Taco, their Z Viber, and this is the micro version. It's smaller than the original. I'll probably put the uh, side by side photo for you guys to see the difference in size, but it's still 1 16th ounce. And uh, we're gonna play around with the first cast right now, standing right here. And I'm gonna jack the brakes up. Hell, I'm just gonna put it at max just to see what's going on because I, I didn't like the uh, Tatula when I changed it to a shallow spool. And um, oh man, there's stuff blowing out over there. But uh, we're not gonna focus on catching fish today. We're just gonna let this thing uh, fly. And you can see that this 1 16th ounce will just roll off this reel here, right? Look at that, it rolls right off. So it's, it's, it's really insane. In fact, I'm just gonna drop and see if it's overspools. It does overspool, so this is insane. I may have to tighten the, the tension knob, but right now the tension knob is set to just, you know, so it doesn't wobble. And um, it could be a learning curve using this JDM reel because the braking style is totally different than uh, my CDM stuff. So let's give it a shot. First wing, soft one. And all right, so with the brakes high, you know, it didn't backlash, but it's still cool to see myself casting an ice fishing jig. That's, that's freaking crazy. All right, so I'm gonna drag it down to 16 brake. By the way, there's 20 clicks here. It goes a little bit to the left. The wind is blowing to the right, and it's likely because the brakes is on high. So let me lower it just a little bit more, but so far I'm not backlashing, not overspooling. Uh, like crazy, so it's good. I'm at 14 right now. And sorry for the wind, it just had a storm. And yeah, so not getting that distance here. I am using the stock bearings, by the way, which likely is greased. If I clean it out, it's likely gonna cast further, but I'm not gonna clean out their stock bearing. So I just compensate it right there for the cast. And I get the ac accuracy, but the distance is not there. And I'm dropping it down to 10 breaks. A moment of truth. Oh, yes. I can feel the di uh, distance now. I can feel that, that this thing is spinning pretty f relatively fast. And the wind is circling around here. It's blowing against me, actually. Actually, it's, like, it's coming here and here. It's like going in a freaking circle. All right, let's try to go down a little bit more. I'm got I'm at eight, okay. This is getting a little bit more insane. I wow, I can't believe this. This is way better than Tatula. <laughs> Let me double check my rod guides and everything. But this is this is great. I'm gonna walk over there to my typical casting spot and do one cast for you guys. Just to see the distance. But as normal, like uh any of my BFS reel, you can't really cast that far out of the box. But this guy's relatively, relatively good. And it's easy too. All right guys, I am back at the spot. But I'm just gonna lightly cast into this deep spot for a second, but I overspooled there. Hmm. And there's mosquitoes here, that sucks. There are mosquitoes here. I, uh, all right, I'm just gonna do a cast right here. 
That is impressive for 16,000. That is 45% of the way. Imagine when I upgrade this spool to the row roll spool, because they have a spool and it's lighter than this here. And I see a lot of bass right in front of me to the left, actually. Wow, they all just scattered. I have to say, this is impressive. I have never casted this jig out like, like that easily out of the box. JDM stuff, super impressive. All right, I'm gonna jack the brake down a little bit more to four, uh, six. It's back lashing, but the distance is insane. The distance is like 55% 50 of the way to the, what do you call that? The, the fountain. That is insane, guys. Holy smokes. I'm going to do it again, very, very quick for you guys. And when I say quick, man, this thing is peeling. Okay, ready? Uh, yeah, it's over spooling. It went to the left a little bit. So I definitely can't use six. I'm going to leave it at eight for this specific lure. But I was expecting this thing to like backlash like crazy when it first uh, came out at the break 20. Holy smokes. Maybe I should go to the store and get me some trout magnets now. Like, I think it's possible. Last cast. All right, that's definitely like 50 to 55% of the way. De definitely a little bit more than our CDM stuff and way more accurate. Like the other ones I had to compensate the like, crap out of it. This guy here, holy smokes. Actually, I'm gonna do one last cast. I'm gonna try to get straight as possible. And still going a little left, but yeah, I, I just gotta practice uh, my cast with these ultralight stuff. Still got to compensate, but not as crazy as uh, the other CDM reels. See, look at that. That's pretty accurate. All right, let's move on to another lure because this is just so much fun uh, playing with this new reel. We'll throw on something heavier and see what we could uh, do. I am trying to hit that fountain right there with uh, my next lure. Just for reference, guys, this is the size difference between the first and second generation of those Z Vibers. Look how small that is. This is gonna be ice fishing galore. All right guys, the next lure I'll be using is the Euro Taco, the 1 16th ounce soft lock jig head or the 1.8 grams uh, tungsten jig head. And I have their B Vibe, which is a two inch micro swim bait. And putting these together, it's approximately uh, 2.6 to 2.7 grams. So let's see how far this casts. I have set the brakes to 10. Mm, it's not that great on 10. Okay, um, so let's reel it back in. Love reeling this back in quickly. Double check, make sure all my line went through smoothly. Okay, let's put an eight. Wow, okay, so that's a huge difference from a 10 break to eight. Like the 10 was maybe at 55, and once I put it to the, the eight, that went, Mmm, 80% of the way. I'm gonna jack it down a little bit more to seven. Let's see what's up. Oh, I, I feel the backlash. I felt the little backlash and I think uh, it must have impeded in the casting accuracy, but that was still 85% of the way. That's, that's nice. So I don't really need to swing that hard to get the far, far distance. Okay, that's 80% of the way. I was thumbing it. it it is over spooling at seven. So if you're a thumb person, I think, uh, you know, going lighter brakes is not too bad. Most impressive, most impressive guys. This, this is insane. Short distance cast is pretty good. I just got nipped by a something. All right, fam, the next one is the Yapada. This is their CU. I can't see it because it painted the crap over it, but this is a 2.8 gram uh, spoon looks beautiful right uh, ever since i did that uh, first video catching trout i'll be quite honest i have never seen these stuff sold in a lot anymore it's always like one only and then now it's like pretty much sold out and uh i gotta say man these, these spoons are amazing i stashed away a few but right now i'm exploring cheaper stuff but this is money so if you guys need you guys check out apada their uh, storefront on AliExpress. You guys see a link in the description below. No affiliation. These are money, okay? Uh, and on eight breaks, and I don't know why I cast it to the right, but uh, I was expecting that, you know, I need to compensate. 
So, let's redo that cast. Okay, there's a little bit of wind. You see the, the line bowing to the, um, bowing to the right. But the distance is not, not bad. I'm expecting to be able to hit the water fountain if I jack the brakes down. That was at eight. So let's go to like six and see what's up. By the way, this is a shorter rod and I think that pretty much at 95% of the way just went a little to the left, maybe 95, too, close to 100, but not at the 100 mark. Try to compensate some for some of these weird wind, but this this is it. Like if I had my uh, 1.8 meter rods on, I would have flung this guy, guy past the water uh, fountain. You know, like I have no doubt in mind that it could do it. I know in my unboxing video I'm saying that these small, super small diameter spool is this is a 28 millimeter, right? So when it's each rotation, it's not going to dispense as more line than a, a wider. Uh, shallow spool. So it was one of my concerns having this reel in the first place. But you know, eventually I caved in. I was like, yo, this, this, if this were uh, considered um, a high end JDM BFS reel, it got to be on the budget side because you know, it's $300. Like out of all the other BFS reels out there, JDM, I think this may perform the best at the price point. But all the other ones, have a bigger spool, you know, like a heavier, or first of all, most heavier spool and also a wider diameter. But right now, this is not bad. Like, I don't really need the distance. I think this distance right here, like out of the box is amazing and perfect. I'm trying to think right now, uh, Spirit Fox, Spirit Fox, Spirit Fox, Spirit Fox. I think I had to upgrade to micro bearings in order to hit that and pass that a, a little bit further. So, um, and of course you need the, the thicker rod, the bigger rod, longer rods. So this, this is most impressive. Holy smokes, guys. I think uh, anyone who wants a high quality reel, this is it. High quality reel at this price point, JDM performance. I mean, I'm sure you guys could upgrade this for a little bit uh, better performance, but out of the box, it'll do you really, really well. All right, we're gradually increasing the weight. This is now a stick bait. This is at 3.1, this is from Surinoya. 3.1 grams uh i'm gonna jack it up to eight just no seven seven's fine let's see how far this goes it did not backlash at all over spool at uh seven so yeah this is real this in that was relative super duper far i think that was uh probably like 95 percent of the way but let's just jack it to was that six one two three four five That's actually at six, not seven. Holy smokes. Oh, that's my first backlash. I put it at six and I, I over winged it. And moment of truth, I want to show you guys this. If it, if the line actually goes into the side and you know what, I'm just looking at this spool right now. There's no way in heck that this line will ever get into the side of the, the reel. Cause it's, it's just, it's just that, uh, you know, no gap. The tolerance that they made here, everything measured out perfectly, like perfectly. See that? I know I did it, uh, showed you guys before in, you know, the unboxing video, but if you guys look closely after I finish reeling this in, look at that. There is no way any line could get get into that. So that that's good, very good. So guys, I'm a cast softer, but I'm gonna leave it at the, seven mark and it looks like it's not good the wing the wind started picking up a little bit so i'm gonna check to eight do it again but this is a shorter rod than you know some other stuff i throw so jacking up to the eight break mark definitely drops some uh distance compared to the first one so i'm gonna drop back to seven and try to cast again hopefully i cast it and you know get it as far as i can okay that's softer cast and wow that's 85% of the way at the seven. I'm gonna do six one more time, guys. But I'm not gonna cast it to like, you know, it breaks my arm or something, you know? Or snap the line like when it backlashes. So let's try six, I'm gonna cast softly. Yeah, the soft cast right there, that's probably like 85% of the way on a six break. That is amazing. 
but I'm gonna probably leave at seven and you know walk around a pond and, and use it to slay some bass because I saw a lot of fish moving on the side earlier and I have no idea if they want this. All right, the last lure we'll be playing today is a jerk bait, and this is the trout crank from Leland's trout, ma trout magnet basically, and I have uh, single hooks on it for catch and release trout. So let's give this a shot. I'm gonna leave it at seven, soft cast. And that's, that's great distance. I mean, knowing that jerk bait doesn't cast that far and right off the box, it's like that distance, superb. It actually might cast further than uh, most of my other reels to be quite honest, even with the upgrades. I wonder if it's because the, the, the braking system here just allows it to cast better. Let me just put the brake down to six. It overspooled there in that one, but you know, eventually it fixed itself without thumbing because I didn't cast too hard. But well, that is amazing. This, this, is, this is by far the best bait casting reel I ever owned in my life. That is the further it went, maybe the wind blew a little bit, but that was 75% of the way. And I did overspool, so I can't really count that. You, I only count my casting distance. I mean, I'll tell you how far it went, right? But I don't count it until like it casts perfect, no overspooling. So I'm gonna do one more time. I just break number six. It's overspooling like crazy now for some reason. Yeah, the wind just picked up. You see, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's good to cast this at six, but maybe if there's no wind, I could do it. But you know, realistically, I wouldn't try. So um, perhaps, just perhaps, I'll leave at seven. And um, maybe if I upgrade bearings and you know change the other spool, but I don't think you could really do that much with this style of jerk bait. Again, I think the jerk baits with the internal weight chamber system will allow you to cast further. Just, just not these cheap cheapos. I gotta be a hit. Oh, I spooked some fish already. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Believe it or not, it's not even a bass. It's a bluegill. That's what I'm talking about. First fish, first fish. It's one of those Mondo's blue, and look at all these bass. It's like trying to attack it. It's like, I want that lure. If I hook up on another bass or fish, that'd be crazy, but look at that. That is insane. Look at this big Mondo bluegill. Let me just uh, get some line. Oh, 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 no, 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 he came off partially. I don't want to get spiked or uh, hooked, trouble hooked, so let me just grab that right here. There he goes, look at that. On my first JDM reel. All right, in you go, that is amazing. I'll put him back in quick. <laughs> After C. See? Got it this time, but you know, I probably spooked every single fish that's spread right around that corner. But man, I am impressed with this freaking setup right here. I cast so accurately. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Keep it down. Let's change his direction a little bit. Let's go hop. Oh yeah. Here we go, guys. First bass. There he goes. Dinky bass. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, boys and girls, this concludes today's cast testing video. It was so freaking amazing casting, like my first JDM reel. I am so stoked that I have it. I can't wait to really go out there and actually catch some fish. In fact, I'm, I put this stick bait back on and I'm gonna you know, get to this pond a, 
a quick round before I head back home because I'm out of time being Daddy Jimmy. Daddy Jimbo gotta go back and uh, do daddy duties. Plus this tree right here has a lot of mosquitoes. They bit through my shirt. My back is like freaking itching. But guys, this is not the end of Jimbo's cast testing video with this sexy JDM Alphas Air TW, this Daiwa Alphas Air TW, oh my gosh. It's gonna be more cast testing videos. I just ordered uh, row roll spools, some bearings, and it's gonna be fun. Uh, so stick around for that. I know you guys are gonna be uh, interested in that upgrade. And uh, you know, make sure you guys leave me some comments below. You guys have some questions. You guys want me to do other testings, or if you guys have some tips for me for tuning it, this reel a little bit better, leave me in the comments below. I totally appreciate it. Until next time, the fish don't wait. Falls around the corner. Stock up on your favorite baits, and I'll see you guys on the water because there's gonna be a lot of good fall bites. So I'll probably make like five videos in one freaking trip. Holy smokes, that's how it was last year.